Yay, welcome, oh, Queen. Oh, yay. God bless you, Queen. Amazing. Last week when we checked, these guys did not have a queen, and they made one. Oh, these girls, these ladies. Yeah, we have a queen. Amazing. Where'd she go? There she is in the middle. Over here. Oh, she's making her way around. Look at her. I'm going to put this just yep. straight back in. Praise God, we have a queen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So we just got bees in May. It is now mid-August, and we just thought we would share the things that we've learned along the way. Mm -hmm. The number one thing is they're not as scary. Bees are not as scary as they seem It was to be. my main concern. Um, I was stung as a little child, and I remember my face like blowing up. So I was afraid that I was going to get stung. And, and we heard a lot of nightmare stories. Oh, you're going to die. Bees. So we were really nervous. We were nervous about having bees in a... Uh, community with neighbors uh, we were worried yeah. that the swarm would go and just attack people and like if we ever had friends over and their kids like oh my gosh the bees are going to attack the kids and all, all you know all these horror stories you believe about bees and so the really like i feel providential thing that happened was the day before the bees arrived i was walking around my garden and for the first time in 20 years i got stung i stood on a bee in the garden when we don't even have bees and it wasn't that bad and i was like Wow, like that was really cool because it's like you can get stung with bees no matter if you have bees or not. And since we got our bees, the only time I've been stung is again me walking around barefoot right around their hive um, and me not looking where I'm stepping and standing on one, two. And, and then another time I got stung because I was working the hive without a suit on getting a bit confident. So that leads us to our number two thing that we've learned is how to treat bee stings. <laughs> so one... Might actually be some right over here. There you go is um, plantain leaf. So everybody probably has this in their garden. There's broadleaf, which is this one, and then there's narrow leaf plantain. And I learned from Don Combs's book that um, all you do is you just crush up the plantain to where it's like nice and juicy, and then you put it on the bee sting and you, you remove the stinger first so you scrape the stinger out and, then and it's really important when you take the stinger out to not squeeze it or push it because when that little sack when you squeeze it you're actually pushing the poisons inside of you so if you have something that's like a credit card or uh, something flat that you can just swipe it out without even your nail yeah without squeezing it um, then you put this on top band-aid it or tape it and we've done this I've gotten stung on the foot um, from stepping on one you have, and we've never had pain, even when your hand blew up from the one... It's sore when it stings you, but but afterwards, like once you've applied the um, plantain and, and the poultice, you know, things are... I was like, what the heck is that? Uh, things, it just becomes a little bit itchy, but otherwise you, you're fine after that. Yes. The number three thing, back to beekeeping. It's really helpful to find a local beekeeper who knows what they're doing to come and help you get set up or to help you get started. Yeah, and we uh, met ours at the farmer's market. There's probably a farmer's market near you with some old guy who is selling honey. And we just asked him, we're like, hey, do you sell beehives or do you sell uh, a bee swarm? A nuke. A nuke. And so he's like, yep, I can get you sorted out. And he actually came and helped us set it up. It's incredibly helpful. I don't know yeah. if we would have had any clue what to do. Yeah. We watched a ton of YouTube videos. Um, and I, I was confident. But just having someone show you how to handle the bees and, you know, because you get very flustered as a new beekeeper. Like, oh, am I doing it wrong? Am I hurting the bees? Am I breaking the comb? Am I doing everything wrong and like seeing an old guy in the moment watching a youtube video isn't yeah. going to help you while you're actually handing, yeah. handling the bees yeah so seeing an old guy do it a few times has been incredibly uh helpful to us and just having someone you can message and and someone in your local area because you can watch youtube videos and they could be in australia where they don't have winters where we do have winters and a beekeeper in your area will know exactly what your bees need for your area uh, number four is understanding that a healthy colony is going to split they are going to lay more queen cells more queen eggs and then when the queen hatches half the hive is going to swarm and go away 
Uh, we did not know that, so we didn't know <laughs> what the heck is going on. <laughs> this happened in our first week of yeah. having them. Yeah, and so like number one, that's okay. Like if they swarm and go somewhere, that's okay. It's not the end of your hive. It's not the end of your life. Like it's okay. Um, and then you know we're now learning how to take care of those things and all the different things you can do. It's your next like part of beekeeping is learning what to do with the amazing things that they do. Um, so that was a fun lesson. There's a lot of uncontrollable things with bees to where you just have to like hold your hands open as a newbie and be like, well, we tried. And then obviously on rented land, you know, bees at some point, if we move and find our own land, you can at night when they all come in, shut the box up and then the next day drive them out uh, to your new plot of land and they will readjust to their new place. So that's the question we get asked all the time is, but you rent, like, why are you getting bees if you rent? And it's like, well, we looked it up and it's been done before. You can move them. So don't feel like you have to be in your forever place to uh, start getting bees. Um, yeah, we're praying that they um, make it through our winter and it's been a really fun journey. Yeah, amen. So we think everybody should get bees no matter how good or bad you think you'll be at it. We all make mistakes and learn and bees are pretty robust and uh, we encourage you guys to have some fun with bees. <laughs>